टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू द स्टोरी ऑफ मनी मनी राम एंड एंड अ ग्रीडी बार्बर माई लॉन्ग टाइम अगो देर लिवड अ मैन हिज नेम वॉज मनी राम मनी राम हैड अ लॉट ऑफ मनी बट एंड he used to have lots of parties and get togethers with people in, in his house and one day what happened they were having a party when maniram came to know that he has lost all his money he is not left with anything he was so depressed he didn't know what to do he he just kept looking at things he just kept looking at his friends none of his friends came to support him they were bad friends he had to sell everything his house his things his belongings but none of his friends who used to come to party with him came and helped him children should we should we have friends like that who who do not support us in times of difficulty or should we have friends who come and help us in the times of difficulty so this story tells you that you should choose your friends wisely okay now mani ram and his wife were staying in a small hut one night when mani ram was sleeping he heard a sound he was having a dream and in his dream he heard the sound tomorrow i will come to your house you open the door hit my head with a stick and you will get lots of money and mani ram could see a monk in his dream speaking all that next morning when maniram woke up he was quite shaken no 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 that was not that was nothing 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 that was just a dream that was just a dream that was not a true story nothing nothing like that happens dreams don't come true and he got up and went for his bath his daily rituals and then he came back and there was a knock at the door he went running to the door he opened the door and who was there the barber was there the barber had come to cut 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 chop 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 his hair and he sat down so the barber started chopping his hair chak 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 cut 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 but then there was another knock at the door and the barber and sorry mani ram he ran towards the door and he was shocked why was he shocked he was shocked because that monk from the dream was actually standing there and he said child hit my head with that stick mani ram took the stick and hit his head with the stick and lo and behold there was that monk turned into a pile of gold full of gold coins mani ram the barber his wife they were all so shocked they did not know what to do then mani ram gained his senses he put he picked up gold coins and put it in a packet and gave some to the barber he said barber this packet of gold coins is for you you keep them but don't tell anything about what happened here barber said no sir no sir i will not tell anybody about what happened here so don't you worry now the barber was a greedy barber he said if one monk can turn into one pile of gold four five monks will turn into four five piles of gold so he went to the monastery monastery children is a place where monks live he went and told the monks sir please come to my house for lunch today i want to treat all of you please come to my house for lunch 
monks were simple people. They said, "Okay, we'll come to your house for lunch." They went, followed him, and the moment the monks came in, the barber locked the door and started hitting them with sticks. Turn into pile of gold. 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 Two monks man somehow managed to open the door and ran out, uh, and they saw the king's soldiers. They said, "But the barber, the barber has gone mad. He's hitting our friends. He's hitting our friends. Please come and help us. Please come and help us." The soldiers came running. They opened the door. They caught hold of the barber and took him to the king's court. The king asked him, "Why did you hit the monks? What were you doing?" He said, "Sir, I did not, not did not hit the monks. Actually, in the morning, I went to Mani Ram's house. At Mani Ram's house, a monk came, and Mani Ram hit him with the stick, and the monk turned into a pile of gold, sir. I was doing just that. I was not. I was. I was not hitting the monks. What nonsense! What kind of story are you telling me? Go call Mani Ram," he said to the soldiers. The soldiers got Mani Ram, and The prince, the king asked him, "Mani Ram, why did you hit the monks?" Mani Ram said, "Sir, he does not know the complete story. Actually, I had a dream, and he told all about his dream, how the monk came into his dream, and how he told him that he will come to his house soon the next day, and he will come to his house, and he will." but he has to touch him with a stick and he will turn into a pile of gold said i never hit the monk sir i just touched him with the stick and he turned into a pile of gold oh so said the so said maniram the king said maniram you are a good honest man you go and he said barber you will be put behind the bars for next 7 years for hitting the bar hitting the poor monks and being greedy you were very greedy you hit the monks you uh, ditched you uh, ditched the uh, did ditched all of them you are a bad 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 barber greedy barber you are so children this is where the story ends the barber was put into prison and mani ram got his happiness back Now I want to ask you what do you think is the moral of the story To me there are two morals in the story one we should choose our friends with very carefully because mani ram didn't choose his friends carefully so nobody came to his help when he was in difficulty and friends should be such that they help you in your difficult times stand by you in your difficult times not run away second you should never be greedy you should be happy with what you have if you are not happy with one chocolate you will not be happy with 100 chocolates also because you will then ask for 101 chocolates so whatever you have you should be happy with it there are children who do not have it even have one chocolate and they have never eaten a chocolate but they are not greedy so neither should we be greedy and we should choose our friends very carefully